if you just do something relaxing, you'll realize that that feeling goes away and then you're back to normal. Like it's rejection. The feelings are just a quick, very quick. And if you just take a break, you, it'll, it'll come back okay, down. So that's about managing your, yeah. that's about managing your feelings, yeah. right? Okay. But you want to bounce back. Your, it's much more than your feelings, right? So how else can you use it to move forward? Not just to get back to where you were before, but to actually build on top of it. Yeah, I think there's probably a lot of advice there. Uh, one thing that I've been using is taking it, like taking the rejection as fuel, it, you know, getting a little, a little bit mm -hmm. angry, you know, getting a bit angry. It's like, you know, I deserve better in a sense, like really going back to believing in yourself yeah. and then just, you know, using that as fuel for your fire and just keep, just keep pushing, go back to action. If you're, if you keep taking action, you'll feel much better. I love that. So can I add one in between? So clear your mind. I love that reset. And then there's use it as the fuel. I'm going to add one step in between. Tell me if you agree or disagree, which is reflect on that experience and see what you can learn from it. So you can address it and grow. And you might reflect and say, I was perfect and they were the problem or whatever. Like that could be fine. I'm saying it's, that could be it. But more often than not, you find an opportunity for you to improve. Hey, this was great, but maybe I could have done this or I could try this next time. And you find ways that when you want to use the fuel, you're now you're going in a better direction, right? Not just the same direction again and again and again. Mm.